everyone, it's Jess with Kinder Stample, and today I'm going to be featuring a really fun altered project using Peachy King stamps. I know a lot of times we see that um, Peachy King stamps are used for stamping and for um, creating fun cards and scrapbook pages, but I really wanted to challenge myself with this project and make something that's fun and altered and um, not really traditional. So let me show you what I'm going to be using for this and then I'll show you how I'm going to make it. Um, I found this really fun photo album. It's in um, like a metallic um, silver and then it has this brassy border around it. When you open it up, inside it has these pages for your photos. And then it closes up like this. So it doesn't really matter which side you do because um, regardless it will be opening up this way. We're also going to be using the Peachy Keen Everyday Character Faces. This is the PK490 um, set. It's a really awesome set because it has a lot of different sizes. If um, you're new to Peachy Keen stamps, I would totally recommend this being the first set that you buy. Um, you'll become so addicted after having this one that you'll definitely need to buy others. So the PK490 is a great set to have. We'll also need a one inch punch to punch out our um, faces. We'll need some zap dots, some memento ink. This is the best um, ink that you can use for stamping peachy keen faces. We'll also need some random flowers. So just this, I'm going to be using blues in this project. So just some random roses and some petals. We'll use some distress ink because you guys know I love using distress inks. My distress tool, my Helmar 450 quick dry adhesive an EK Success border punch, some petals, a jelly roll pen in white. You'll need a clear block to stamp your images and you're going to need um, two pieces of paper. So you'll need a scrap piece of paper just to stamp your faces and you'll also need a piece of paper that's cut at two by six and three quarters and this is what we're going to cut out the border in. So let me move these products to the side and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take out one of the images from this set and in this case I'm going to use this really cute um, little boy with the wink and we'll grab our clear block We'll place it in the center. We'll grab our scrap paper and also our memento ink. So we'll just open this up. Just dab into here and then press firmly onto your paper. So you see how really crisp that image is. We'll go ahead and take our one inch circle punch and just cut out this sweet little face. Put this over to the side because we won't know we won't be needing this any longer. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some embellishing to the face. So I'll take my jelly roll pen and I'm just gonna color in the eyes. I'm basically just going within the inside borders and around the pupil. And in a circular motion I'm filling it in with white. And then there's three little dots in the eye. It's one dot and then just two little shadow marks. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some faux stitching around the border of this circle. So just some quick faux stitching. And I like to hold it in the center because I don't want to um, ruin the white. Um, the jelly roll takes a little bit to dry, not very long, but you just don't want to um, touch any of the white until it's fully dry because then it'll smear and it doesn't leave a really nice effect. So there we go. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color the Peachy King um, cheeks and I'm using this fun little cheek um, brush and some chalks and this is optional you don't have to do it but I think it just makes really cute so I'm going because the paper is so dark I'm gonna be dipping into a really dark burgundy and I'm just tapping tapping into there and then I'm just gonna brush on the cheeks 
Notice that there's a little bit of um, powder that looks like residue on here. All I do is I blow it off and it's perfect. Okay, so now we're done with this. We'll move it over to the side. Okay, so now we're going to grab our border punch and we're going to grab our piece of craft paper, which is cut at two and six and three quarters. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this border out. Borders are really fun to use. Um, and they add a really nice effect to your projects. So I'm just going to clean this out from the bottom and then I'll finish off the, the last part of it. Let's see how far we got. Okay, I missed a little part, so we'll go ahead and put this back in here. Just make sure that it's aligned. So you want to make sure that um, you get that part perfectly. And there we go. It's all done. We'll clean this up. And then I left a little piece on the end. No worries about that because I'll quickly grab my scissors and trim that off. So we no longer need that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Distress Ink. I'm just going to put the dabber into here and I'm going to distress this. This is going to act as a faux fence on my project. So you guys will see really soon um, what effect I'm looking to get with this project. I love my Peachy King faces and I love trying new things with them and using them to do all kinds of fun little projects so I think this um, this is a fun fun little way of making a present to give to someone that looks really sweet so then we're gonna grab this and we're gonna put it on the bottom right here and I'm gonna use my Helmar 450 quick dry adhesive to adhere this on the reason why I use the distressing ink is because I wanted to add a little bit more dimension to the project so I didn't want it to look so just papery. Um, I wanted to have some details and some texture. So that's why I did it that way. And I'm just running a little bit of um, glue along the lines like this. And then I'm just going to adhere it onto the front of my photo album. Just like that. So you see now I have that border there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my little flowers and in this case we have these four and I'm just going to glue these on here randomly so just putting a little bit of 450 on here and I'm just going to put one about there maybe another one here so the flowers will be my focal point on this project. And don't, don't be afraid to layer your flowers. That will make them look a little more natural. So I'm just going to put these like this. And then one more. Right there. And then I'm going to grab all of my little petals. And I'm just going to put them in between the flowers. So again, just some 450. And we're gonna tuck them in. Anywhere you like, just so that it looks really natural. And let's put some more under here. Just tucking them underneath the petals. And then I'm going to add a little, a few little roses. And you'll see where I'm going to put my cute little peachy king faces. This one here. And let's just put a little bit more. I really want this to have a very sweet garden feel. So don't be afraid to use a lot of your your flowers for this. And I'm going to use these two little roses and put them on the two ends. Put one right here. 
and then okay I have a runaway rose where did it go no worries I'll grab another one and I'll show you what I did actually um, you know how they come with these wires all I did was I took it and wrapped it around the end of my paintbrush and created a little coiled effect like that and then we'll glue this one over here like this then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my zap dots and just take these out of here and just to save a little bit of time I went ahead and I decorated my peachy king faces so I have four really sweet little faces that I decorated that are going to serve as the center of my flowers for my sweet little garden. So I'm just going to go ahead and take these zap dots and these come in circles and squares. I'm just using these because they fit perfectly behind the image and I'm just peeling off the backing on them like that. I really love the way this project is coming out. I think it's really fun. Um, it'll be great to give to your mom or your friends or um, grandma with some fun pictures of yourself and your family. Just really super sweet. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my four cute little peachy keen faces and put them in the center of these flowers just like this so this is almost completely done the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some stickles and I'm going to just do a little bit more embellishing so just just going to randomly put some stickles around here because um, this is my little magical peachy garden so I think it definitely needs some glitter so we're just going to put some stickles on here and I'm not putting them on all flowers, I'm putting them just on the two opposing colors like this and then maybe I'll put some in the center of my roses and that's it so here's a really fun altered project using my huge peachy king faces when I normally would have just put some pearls or some rhinestones in the middle of my flowers, instead I decided to incorporate these beautiful little images into altering this project. So it's a fun little photo album that you can open up and put some photos in. And you can even alter these as well. Um, you can even put someone's name on the top with some chipboard letters. But I think it looks just super, super sweet like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I look forward to sharing more peachy keen techniques and fun ideas with you very soon. Thanks for watching.